I wanted to do a quick video about energy exchange, um, spiritual diseases, and um, how energy exchange affects your health. I'm going to read something really quick. Energy exchange affects your health. There is a quality to the energy that you and others carry and project. If you pay attention, you can feel that quality when you are in the presence of another person. Someone who has a smile on his or her face will tend to disarm, you know, disarm you. The smile tells you that the immediate environment is safe and you can, to the best of your ability, let down your guard and relax. You might even experience a sense of warmth, which lets you know that a positive flow of energy is taking place. Someone who, let's say, is angry, upset, or uncomfortable within his or her own skin will project a heart rate pattern that is more chaotic. Um, we sometimes refer to negative or needy people as high maintenance, and they tend to be a drain on your energy. Another way of saying this is that they take more than they can give. On an intuitive level, as well as an experimental level, we have all encountered people like this who we might say are stress carriers. In this case, exposure to this kind of energy has the potential to impair your resilience. So, um, I watched a video today and it talked about spiritual diseases. And... Um, I kind of had to look it up and do research and stuff because some people think that they're sick, but they're really not sick. You have attached yourself or someone has attached their self to you that is carrying a very low vibrational energy and that toxic low vibrational energy, you know, gets stuck to you. It drains you and you, you, you feel sick and I feel like... The best way to put it, you have to cleanse your space out. If you're trying to, if you cut this person off, take a spiritual bath, really cleanse your space. If this person maybe gave you an item, a gift or something, throw it away. Any kind of attachments or anything, remove it out of your space. Cleanse your space, cleanse yourself and cut all contact off. You have to protect yourself at the end of the day. And give yourself a few weeks, months, and watch how much better you start feeling. And remember, you are protected. The angels are watching over you. But you really have to really cleanse out your space. You can always feel the difference when you're around certain energies. And it'll just feel draining. You just can hardly go. Another thing is, watch who you eat from. You cannot trust everybody. I don't care how good they look. I don't care how good they cook. You got to really watch what you consume from other people. And you got to watch who you allow in your space. I wanted to add to that other video about how your partner influences your vibration. How sex can influence your energy, your vibes. Um, let's say your vibrations are high. And the person you're sleeping with is very low vibrational. She has negative entity attachments on her. When you guys have sex, they're basically sucking the energy out of you because they need it. They steal your high vibes and leave your energy field completely depleted. And then you're open to all kinds of spiritual diseases, sicknesses, all kinds of stuff that you can't, you're wondering like, well, dang, you know. It's that person. You have to clear your space out. A lot of people are talking about this. You have to watch who you're connecting with. If this person is feeding your addictions, you know, constantly feeding you sex, sex addictions, drinking, alcohol, just all that. Get that person from around you. God cannot move through you and do what he needs to do through you because you are holding on to these horrible attachments. You have to let them go. So I just wanted to add that to this video and yeah, want to add some more because I'm just like really reading up on this stuff. All right. Have you noticed that, sorry, I'm trying to, okay. 
Have you noticed that the company you keep has a major impact on your energy levels? For example, one of the reasons you enjoy hanging out with your best friend or favorite relative is probably because they have a beneficial effect on your mood. On the other hand, we all know at least a couple of people who are best described as toxic. These are the folks who seem to leave those around them feeling negative, drained, or even depressed after just a short period of time in their presence. I used to have people like this that would come around me and I swear it felt like they had a straw hooked up in me and was literally draining all life force out of me. As soon as I got rid of those people, health improved, move, mood improved, everything just started improving. Watch the company you keep. The universe and everything in it is comprised of atoms, which are in part made up of energy. Therefore, we shouldn't be surprised to learn that the kind of energy we transmit and encounter shapes our lives on multiple levels. So, I just, I, I'm really researching this stuff and yeah, watch the company you keep, clear your space out, take a spiritual bath, um, get rid of certain gifts or items that were attached that were attached to the negative low vibrational person that gave them to you cleanse your space i cannot stress that enough all right i think that's it